What is good, everyone? Welcome live to Vindication Episode 5. We're starting off with The Miz in the ring to make a few announcements. Before we do that, we want to take you to earlier tonight between The Miz and The Bullet Club. Do you think The Miz has what it takes to make it in the Bullet Club? No, I don't. Well, I guess we'll find out here tonight as he awaits his first challenger of the Bullet Club Initiation Tour. And oh my goodness, Jesus. we're going to see the debut of Enzo Amore here on Vindication. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Enzo Amore. How do you think Enzo Amore will fare against the Miz tonight? Why is this rap master here? My name is Enzo Amore, and I am a certified G and a bona fide stunt, and you can't beat that. Bada boom, realest guy in the room. How you doing? Well, you know, the Miz is out here tonight to impress the Bullet Club, trying to get that first impression of Kenny Omega that he could actually make it in the Bullet Club. What kind of impression will it be to destroy this rat? I don't know, Brad, but, you know, Enzo Amore did answer the challenge. Look at this, look at this. I don't know, Brad, I wish I could dance like that. But, you know, the Miz, he couldn't help who answered the challenge as we get going here. He couldn't help who answered the challenge. He just has to answer it himself by winning the matchup. And look at him, already on the run. Well, The Miz is very intimidating. Oh, oh, goodness gracious. The Miz trying to be more intimidating. We saw it with his feud with Sami Zayn. You know, he wants to be more aggressive. And I guess this ploy to get in the Bullet Club trying to change his mindset here as he chases Enzo Amore to the outside. Oh, and he trips him up. Let's sweep. Very nice by Enzo Amore to try to get back on the offensive the side. The crafty rat. Oh, oh, the double stop on The Miz is back there. That's got to leave a mark. Look at Enzo eyeing the Revolutionary Championship. You know, you kind of forget this is an open challenge for his title belt. We kind of sort of forgot that here as we've gotten going. As, oh, oh, look at that. Nice power slam by the Miz there. Looking for the early cover. Kick, Kick out. out. Nice job by Enzo Amore to stay alive here at his Revolutionary Championship. Oh, Ooh. drop kick to the skull by the Miz. And it's very entertaining to see the Miz trying to, you know, get some offense about himself. You know, we haven't seen that. Look at this. Back. Look at this. Oh, blue, blue thunderbomb. thunderbomb. Are you? He stole it from Sami Zayn. Is this? Where have we seen that before? I cannot believe this. He has stolen the finisher of Sami Zayn. I guess he took his Revolutionary Championship and his finisher. 
You know, you did say that The Miz has something different in his eye, Brad. Out here still in finishers. That song. What in the hell is that? That song. I haven't heard that song in years. Who could this be? What could this mean for The Miz? Who is this? I know who this is. Oh my it God! Is. It's El Generico! Kick his ass! Oh, what is he doing? Yes. Attacking The Miz! Brain Buster! On the apron, Brad! He killed him! El Generico, my hero! He is here! There he goes! He's gone! He has laid out the Miz here, Brad. He is going to save us. El Generico is on vindication. hurricane warning remains in effect. A major and extremely deadly hurricane is expected to make landfall. This superstorm is expected to be a Category 5 hurricane with winds up to 300 miles per hour. Evacuation orders are currently in effect. Hurricane warnings and the Revival assaulting the Young Bucks backstage. What's up with that? Well, we're set here for a matchup between Trash Corbin, the Lone Wolf, taking on the debut of Cody Rhodes. And here he is, Trey's hero. Making his way to the ring from Kansas City, weighing in at 285 pounds, Baron Corbin. Well, look at Trash Corbin making his way to the ring. Look at him, he's already eyeing me. I was say, he is eyeing me. Look at him already eyeing me. He's pointing at you. Let's go. Let's go, Brad. I'll take him right here, right now. Easy now. Oh, what are you what is what is he? That's hey. my monitor, you dickhead! Hey man, that's not cool. That's fine, that's fine. The American Nightmare is gonna take care of him tonight. That's all good. We're all good. Look at him. Look at him still staring. What a goon. Well, here comes my pick tonight. Cody Rhodes making his debut. I hope he kicks Trash Corbin's ass all I'm, over this arena. I'm sure he will. Making his way to the ring, weighing in at 216 pounds from Marietta, Jordan. He is the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. I believe this is the first in-ring debut of a member of the Bullet Club who's not named Kenny Omega. I believe you're right. So the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, looking to overcome Baron Corbin here in this matchup. No stipulations, just a good old single hey, matchup. Hey, Cody. I appreciate that so much. Oh, thank you, Cody. That's thank so, thank you so, so much, nice. Cody. I appreciate that. That's that's why he's a swell guy. That's why Corbin hey, wait a minute. is going to pay wait a minute, That was mine. That was mine. Oh, Christ. That's, I didn't see that coming. That escalated so quickly. That's my damn monitor. Jesus. That escalated so quickly, Brian. I didn't expect that at all. What a dick. You literally just thank the man. It, it's before he bought my damn monitor. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. You deserve that shit, Corbin. Yeah. Oh, my oh. goodness. He's taking no bullshit. He's coming right at Rhodes. He's oh, laying look at into him. him. He's laying into him. Oh, he flips I'll it over. I'll turn him over. Kick his ass. Get him. Yeah, lay into him. Good God. Just waxing his ass with those right-hand shots. Jesus. 
Yes, sir. Good job, Rhodes. Brutal. American nightmare for real. And Cody Rhodes making his way to his feet now oh. as he steps on Corbin. Very nice to add insult to injury as he makes his way onto the apron as Baron Corbin tries to get him, but he evades it. Very, very nice by Cody Rhodes. Oh. oh! And a kick to the forehead by Rhodes now on the offensive side. There's a lot of momentum on Rhodes' side now. Look out now. Oh! oh very nice drive by kick there by Cody Rhodes to Corbin, making him run into that ring post there on the outside. As Cody Rhodes taunts Baron Corbin trying to make it back up onto his feet now. Oh, he's on the run. No! A running drop kick sends Baron Corbin straight into the barricade. My God, nice moves here by Cody Rhodes in the early going. Very dominant. Just very, very dominant performances. A knee Ooh. to the chin, Jesus. He is just making Baron Corbin look just like the trash that he is as he rolls him back inside the ring. Cody Rhodes may be looking to put this thing away already. Oh, springboard drop kick. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Very nice move again. Cody Rhodes is non-stop in this matchup. He has not slowed down whatsoever. Going up top. Moves uh, up. Wow, what athleticism. He is just bringing it to Corbin. He is not taking any breaks. Corbin slides to the outside. Well, you know, Cody won't be far behind Brad as he's on his knees in the ring, but he is eyeing there. And Corbin now, it looks like he's going to take Look a out drive. now. Oh, oh, he caught him! DDT. Jesus! Oh, man, I think Rhodes could be out cold. He is not moving. That is just what Baron Corbin needed, though. He needed that to get back in this matchup because he was getting dominated. Getting his ass kicked. A move like that could easily put Baron Corbin back into the matchup. And I swear to God, Cody Rhodes hasn't even moved since he got no. Oh, and you better think quick, Brad, because he just kicked him right in the face. Caught him off guard and sent Baron Corbin back inside the ring. Damn. Very nice by Cody. Oh, and I look at it, just talking him again. No. Oh, shotgun drop kick from the springboard, Brad. And Cody Rhodes has just been so disrespectful since the beginning. He's just had a freaking just fierceness about himself coming out here and just dominating Baron Corbin like he has. And I think he may be looking. Oh, he's looking for it. Crossroads, here it comes. No. There you have it, Brent. Dominating performance by the American Nightmare. And one more middle finger for good pleasure here. The man broke my monitor. He is asking for a microphone now. Strong words by Rhodes here. And I told you, Brad, Trash Corbin could not live up to the hype that everyone wants to put him in. And he got crushed by Cody tonight. Burial is what we just witnessed. What is good, everybody? It is Trey from My Damn Toys, and I just wanted to give you guys a heads up that Elite 58 is up for pre-order over at Ringside Collectibles. WrestlingFigures.com. Use the promo code MDTOYS. You will save 10%. A great-looking set. Cannot wait to get these. We get a brand-new Matt Hardy, Mickey James, The Bar, Braun Strowman, and Dean Ambrose. Fantastic set, but let's get back to the show.
how is that even fair? He can just not allow anybody an opportunity and just allow the whole Bullet Club to get in there? Kenny runs this show, man. I understand, but that is complete Bush League. This isn't a dictatorship. But I guess we really can't focus on that right now because we have our main event set for tonight. You know, it was called last week. We got Drew McIntyre debuting, taking on the monster among men, Braun Strowman, for the Iron Man Championship. Making his way to the ring from Iowa, Scotland, weighing in at 265 pounds, Drew McIntyre. I don't know who that is on ring announcer, but he is nowhere near as good as Face Wife. I can tell you that for sure, Brad. But I'm very excited to see Drew McIntyre debut in Vindication. Sure enough, he will make some noise here. What do you think? Absolutely. And here he comes, a man that's been unstoppable. The monster among men. The Iron Man champion, Braun Strowman. Well, Brad, it looks like Braun Strowman not even giving time for anybody to... Our graphic department, our ring announcer, nobody giving any heads up as he just charges his way down to the ring to face off with Drew McIntyre. And here we go, we're off. Oh, oh, Drew with a nice knee to the nose by Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman's nose could be broke. Oh my God. Jesus, a right hand of Drew takes him out very quickly as he pushes and just shoves his carcass out under the apron with his foot. And now Braun Strowman looks like he's going to make Drew pay on that freaking oh, turbo. Oh. Good Lord. Oh. Matt Hardy would be proud of this. Just bouncing his face off those turnbuckles. My God. He could be out cold already, Brad. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, my oh. God. Jesus, how could a man that 6'5 fly that far? Good Lord. The strength of Strowman. As he picks him up and oh, oh. He, he's got to be a he's got to be a oh just, my god oh my god his face is <laughs> just <laughs> brutal he has a limp he has a limp he's literally carrying that's his a butt. six five man uh oh look out I don't know how he regained consciousness he bounces Braun's face right off of that green post Drew's got him where he wants him oh, oh big boot boot to the crib right in the face look at him stumbling he's got to be concussed. He has got both of these men, Brad. They have just taken a beating very early in this matchup, and both men are limping, trying to make it around the arena, trying to just give some sort of effort. Oh, in my this God, matchup. look out! Jesus Christ! Good Don't move, look. don't move. I can't move my arms. I can't move my arms. Blood sees my sight. Just don't move, and he Stay won't notice it. Still. Okay, I He's think we're okay. Away. I think we're okay. Drew, are you okay? I think we're okay. Oh my god, I what think... Drew, Drew, wake up! Oh, he's coming back, he's coming back. Drew trying to make it back to his feet. I still can't move my arms. Drew finally making it back to his feet now, but I don't know if it's going to do much as oh. now Braun's got him up on his shoulders. He could easily strangle the life out of him with a bear hug if he wanted to. Oh, Drew hanging on. Very nice there. Oh, very nice move there. He caught the apron, climbed up on it, and then reversed it onto Strowman. Very, very oh. nice. John, just give him a freaking haymaker. <laughs> right to the face as he gets up and makes his way backstage, Brad. We're going to be on the move here as Drew McIntyre has disappeared. Braun Strowman trying to make it back to his feet. Both men are severely concussed. They're probably going to be out a while after this, I can tell you that. As Braun Strowman is now giving chase to Drew McIntyre backstage. And the referee is right there behind him trying to make some sort of organization in this matchup. But he's not doing a very good job because both men are wrecking this arena. Strowman enters the locker room area trying to look for Drew. Oh, there and there he is. is. Oh, he scooped him up. Oh, have That's a seat. A brand new couch. Have a seat, Drew McIntyre, as he goes straight through the couch. I did not even know that you could break that couch in half. God. And the bench. The bench has paid the price multiple times this year due to Braun Strowman. Somebody's got to stop. This match is over. Oh, my God. What's he doing? He's going to kill the man. Oh, my God. It's, it's Kane. Kane. It's Kane. Jesus. It's Kane. Where the hell is he taking him? He's taking Braun Strowman. Oh What's going on? Somebody get a camera back there.
Whatever that was, it did not sound good, Brad. It sounds like he put Braun Strowman through hell. Oh, my God. He tosses him back in there, and the garage door is slamming shut. And Drew McIntyre is going to make oh the God. cover. No way. We could have a new champion. It's over. He's done it. We have a new Iron Man champion. The 211 day reign of Braun Strowman is over. The monster has lost his Iron Man championship. Drew McIntyre is your new Iron Man champion in this false count anywhere matchup. What a debut for Drew McIntyre. We will see you guys on MDT Live episode number five. Congrats to Drew McIntyre. I still can't move my arms.